Trust's FTX founder, Sam Bankman-Fried. Last week was found guilty on all seven counts of criminal fraud. Owen Fairclough reports. Former cryptocurrency billionaire Sam Bankman-Fried is facing potentially decades in jail after being found guilty of defrauding his customers of billions of dollars. The founder of cryptocurrency exchange FTX had denied seven counts of fraud, money laundering and conspiracy to commit these crimes during his trial in New York. The 31-year-old FTX founder's fall from grace has been one of the most spectacular in financial history. He rode the cryptocurrency wave and at his height was worth $26 billion, his company promoted by some of the world's biggest stars. With FTX, I have everything I need to buy, sell, and trade crypto safely. And the jury's verdict came almost a year after FTX filed for bankruptcy as the crypto and Bitcoin boom turned to bust. This wiped out Bankman Fried's valuation, forcing him to use customer deposits partly to pay off debts. And prosecutors say he also siphoned off their money to invest in his own separate hedge fund while spending millions of dollars on political donations to court influence. After the verdict, prosecutors had this warning. The cryptocurrency industry might be new. The players like Sam Bankman Freed might be new. But this kind of fraud, this kind of corruption is as old as time. And we have no patience for it. Bankman Freed denied all the charges, claiming he never stole customers' money, but admitted he did not realize the scale of FTX's debts until it was too late. And there is some comfort for the customers Bankman Freed defrauded. Creditors have received around $7 billion during the bankruptcy process, and customers are expected to receive around 90% of the total funds recovered. Owen Fairclough, CDTN, Washington. Okay, let's take a deeper dive into this and joining us now to discuss what the verdict means for the future of cryptocurrencies as well uh, as Sam Bankman Freed. We're now joined by Sean Stein Smith. He is an assistant professor at Layman College at the City University of New York. Sean, great to have you back on the program. I appreciate it. Awesome, Jordan. Happy to be here. You know, to any casual observer of this trial, I mean, it, it was kind of all over the place. At times, it seemed like uh, Bankman Freed was laughing at things, acting like he, oh, you know, this isn't that big of a deal. Or, I mean, I was really caught off guard by the way it played out. Kind of walk us through your take of this. Absolutely. And the, the, the whole saga of FTX really has been a really strange unfolding and unraveling of, of what was, at its peak, a company worth over $30 billion. And, and the whole meltdown, it was actually started on social media. And then Bankman Fried himself gave multiple interviews, uh, both in person, online, on social media. And then also during the actual court case itself, he seemingly didn't think that, that he was going to be found guilty, which, which was directly opposite to pretty much every other courtroom watcher or expert opinion out there. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, people who follow uh, uh, juries and uh, jurist activities uh, uh, simply were kind of amazed at everything. And also he dragged his parents into this, as I remember. So what's next? We heard Owen in our uh, uh, very excellent story he just did say that SBF mm -hmm. is now looking at spending uh, years in prison, not jail, in prison. Yes, and so, and so the only drama left, hopefully, in this whole uh, FTX odyssey is going to be resolved in March. And in March is when the actual sentence is going to be handed down. And estimates range, I've seen anecdotally, estimates from 10 years to 20 years up to the full 100 years uh, actually possible. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how that plays out. But really, that should be the end of this odyssey, hopefully. The end of his odyssey. But I think we're just beginning to scratch the surface on uh, cryptocurrency uh, concerns. Is it a stretch to compare what he did to what Madoff did in terms of kind of using this for his own personal piggy bank? Uh, in, in sort of broad strokes, I would say there are definitely parallels. Uh, Madoff and FTX and actually Bankman Freed personally both used customer funds for high risk trades. And then those high, high risk trades basically blew up in their faces, causing them to lose customer funds and ultimately collapse the entire company. But at the core of both cases, it was pretty cut and dry fraud. So yes, 
in that case, there are definitely parallels to be drawn here, and I'm sure FTX is going to be analyzed for decades to come. As it is analyzed, I think the, the, the bigger picture comes into play. So how do traders, other players, react to this, uh, this guilty verdict, and what do you think the impact is going to be on other crypto exchanges and values? So overall, the, the feedback and commentary from analysts, traders, developers, other entrepreneurs in this space has honestly been a sigh of relief, right? That after all of mm. this drama on social media, in the courtroom for the last year, that now finally the, the charges have, have been proven in court and now hopefully the industry as a whole can move forward and to try to pick up on some more productive conversations. But, okay, okay, so, but can it move forward? Because all I can think about is a, is a very, I don't want to say smug, but I will, smug Matt Damon saying, you know, uh, fortune favors the bold, <laughs> and, 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 and Tom Brady, the all-American GOAT quarterback, you know, people who are out there pitching this, and now they have A on their face, and their wallets are millions of dollars lighter. Absolutely, and, and the impact of FTX cannot be overstated. The, the entire industry has suffered a massive black eye as a result of Bankman Freed's activities at FTX. But I would say, you know, that, that there are signs of cautious optimism, be it XRP, be it the ETFs that are currently under uh, review at the SEC, or the movement of big financial institutions like Citi, JP Morgan, and HSBC into tokenized payments very recently. So overall, it has been a definite setback, but there are reasons to be cautiously optimistic now as we move forward in a post-FTX uh, world. Well, Sean, I will bet you that you and I have not discussed this for the last time. <laughs> as always, my friend, uh, Sean Stein-Smith, uh, putting it into focus for us. Thank you so much. All right, thanks, Sean.